إلى الله نمضي يا هنيئا لمن سبق ويا حظ قلب من تقى الله قد خفق تمر بنا الأيام سرعة كأننا نرى سرعة الأيام كالبرق إن برق فإن كنت ذا لب حصيف وحكمة أحب في الله This house has got magic and is in West Yorkshire. Now you can see this nail, this nail, this nail, and this nail. This is all Sihru Musamir. And in the house we found dolls. This is Sihru Musamir. Bismillah. Allahumma batilm kullu sihr. 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 Allahumma abatulim kullu sihir. This is sihrul musamir, meaning the black magic of the nails. There was no reason for it to be there. It does not hold anything. As for these timbers, something else hold it there. This one, this one, and that one. By the will of Allah, I'm going to destroy them, insha'Allah. And we ask Allah to protect us and make it easy for us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wahda wa salatu wa salamu ala rasoolullah amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah, Allah has sent me again here in, I'm in West Yorkshire, yes. I'm in West Yorkshire, and uh, I came to this brother and their house. They have some issues, that the gin movements, and then the, the gin laughing, and sort of things like that. Assalamu alaikum, brother, how are you? How is everything? Been better. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Tell me, tell me about the house and everything. Um, so, it's been a few months now, but only recently we've heard, like, it more prominently, where, like, we can hear, like, noises, like, if you walk upstairs, you can hear the floorboards, mm. and we can, like, if we sit downstairs, we can hear someone walking, but there'd be no one upstairs. Right. Is there any specific time? Uh, is it morning, is it evening, is it in the night? Yeah, it's not morning, mainly in the night time. In the night. Yeah. Do you know the timings? Like three, four o'clock in the night. Yeah, you hear somebody walking. Yeah, like when you're when we asleep, and I can just hear someone walking up and down. What about the laughing? You uh, you've heard the noise as well. I've not heard it. My sister's heard it. Oh. She was asleep in one of the rooms upstairs. My mum was next to her sleeping, and she just heard like a laugh, like a woman laughing. Right. But when she looked at her mum, she was like sleeping. It wasn't her. Right. And she panicked, and then she woke her up and stuff. So you go a corridor up there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, inshallah, we'll go up with the camera, inshallah, record everything, inshallah. Yeah. Um, tell me more about the laughs and the footsteps. How many people have heard it and how often was it? Uh, I heard it just before you guys came as well. I was just sat here and I heard it. Again? Yeah, like two, foot, three steps. Footsteps. Okay. Yeah, but I just kind of ignored it. Like, yeah. So, I don't know, so maybe... Some people say it's oh, it's just your house, like it's like no, no, these house. are for real. Yeah. You, can't, you can't hear a quiet house, only you on your own in the house, mm, yeah. the footsteps. That means there's someone living with you here. And down, like my dad sleeps in the room next door, right? And we can normally hear the doors closing at night, All right? Or like you know, we have on our we have on our door, we have a latch, yes. And someone keeps closing it, but no one, there's no one saying they're doing it, yeah. So what, like, I wake up and the latch is closed, but we don't know who it is, right? Or we can hear things falling in the kitchen. They're just little, little things like movements and or noises. Like yesterday, my brother was working upstairs and he had scratches on the walls. But he, he was working, so he didn't really think of anything. Or my sister, my, my wife. So scratches in his own room? Yeah, in his bedroom. Yeah, so the scratches, are they, are they apparent or they are not apparent? Uh, no, there's no marks or anything. They can yeah. just hear the noise. The scratches, like yeah. someone is scratching, like yeah. an animal or something like that. Yeah. Isn't it? All right. And my wife was in the bathroom and she heard it as well. Right. So there's one room between, like in between it all. Right. I think it was coming from there, but obviously it was coming from the bathroom. That's what you think. No, the room next to the bathroom. When my mum was asleep two, three days ago, the she goes the bed shake like as with an earthquake. Right. But my sister who was sleeping next to her, she never felt nothing. Mm, she goes, right. I didn't feel nothing, but my mum felt it, and that's when she kind of thought, right, this is not right. Like yeah, yeah, something's so going on. So it's been going on for months now, isn't it? Yeah, a few months now, right. and then I think a week before. In the middle of the night, I think it was just before Fudger time, my wife woke up and she seen a black shadow in front of our door and it came and leaned over towards me and then she did some duars and stuff, read the four calls there, so you could see blue in the room and then the light, the, the room was really dark and 
it lightened all up no. when she blew up when she read it wasn't blue no. after like two three seconds it all just lightened up and then so that shadow came towards you it came and like, leaning over me she said yeah. but i could i never woke up i never felt nothing but i had like a bad dream that night as well what sort of dream was it that was like i was in some sort of game and i was trapped mm. but the person that I could see, I couldn't see their face, and she couldn't see the per the, the shadow's face either. Mm. So we think something might have like connected in that sense. Yeah, that's correct. Tell me about yourself, about your health and everything. Um, so alhamdulillah, I've been put pretty fine. Um, September I turned a bit ill. Um, went to last, last year. Yeah, last year. Right. Went a bit ill a little bit. Doctors misdiagnosed me, saying it was a different infection. Infection. Sort of infection. Sinus infection. They thought it was, and then had some antibiotics. Never worked. Just got worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And then end of October, uh, I got admitted into hospital. My heart rate was like 116 miles per hour uh, beating. I was got really cold. I was sh shivering nonstop. Couldn't stop shivering. I was having like sweating at night. Uh, be vomiting all so sorts. in the night when you sleep you sweat yeah do you have a sp is it a specific part of your body sweats or the whole body sweats? just the whole body sweat yeah mm -hmm. um, vomiting then basically did that happen after your wife seen the shadow that was coming towards you no this was all before this, this all, all before, before. Yeah. So seeing the shadow this was only like a last week or so this all happened the last two weeks alright so uh, the shadow came near you and then you start becoming ill and things like that? No, that was, this was all before, this was right. October time. This, oh. All the shadow stuff was like two, three weeks ago. But, right. okay. Um, got ill, was in hospital for like two months. They didn't know what was wrong with me. They couldn't find out what it was. And then right at the end, they thought I was, uh, I, had an, I had an infection in my heart valve. Mm. Uh, and they gave me antibiotics, treated me with that. And I was perfectly fine. I was about to come home. And then one day I just got really ill. I had a blood clot in my lung, couldn't breathe really. I got really ill, sick, fevers. And then the, like after two or three weeks, I had, a, I had heart surgery mm. to replace my valve. And then alhamdulillah, come out. Alhamdulillah. Absolutely fine. Alhamdulillah. Uh, but then I found out my dad had bowel, bowel cancer. Alhamdulillah. He just finished his radiotherapy treatment yesterday. Mm. Um, so he's okay, alhamdulillah. May Allah make it easy for you, all of you in the, in the house. Now tell me, more about the house and um you you told me that your mom seen some stuff and then and i was told that there was somebody came here before these happening that uh, can you tell me about this? um i think what you might be referring to they went to go see some guy or oh, he didn't come here no no he didn't come they went to see him or uh, how many people went there there was my mom my wife my sister-in-law and my sister right so the four of them um, some guy is like a baba in Manchester. Went to go see him. He's Manchester. Man. Uh, Cheeto. Uh, went to go see him. Do you know his name? I don't know. They yeah. just refer to him as the baba. Like, yeah, yeah, magician baba. Yeah. So they went to go see him, mm. and he obviously spoke to him and stuff. From what I, I was, I was in hospital, so I don't know what exactly happened before. What they told me, mm. they went, spoke to him, told him what's going on. They stood there, uh, and he goes, yeah. I'm gonna basically give us two books, which I'll give you in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Books. He give us, he give these two books for for him, and he give him like water as well. But we've spilled the water. Mm -hmm. Um. So he's given them. Yeah. Oof. Astaghfirullah. The jailan bar darbar. The, this is the box. You see, there, there's a darbar there. These are whoever's given this is a mushrik. We don't believe in this. We don't believe in going and asking on the graves. Yeah, like my wife read this and yeah. she goes, I don't agree with it at all. Yeah, there we go. You can see. This shit done. Pure sixth generation of Jelani family. Right, carry on, Bismillah. So, they've gone to see him and my mom, when she was there, they all said that she was like falling asleep. She was laughing. Your mom? Yeah, she wasn't concentrating at all. Mm. She was like just dozing off, laughing off. She didn't really pay attention. But there were biscuits and like water that he gave and she had them but no one else did the water um and he put a cloth over my mum's head and took it off and said yeah there's something with her mm -hmm. there's a gin with her like a very old gin so she, he goes there's something with her uh it's quite old but we're just gonna leave it mm -hmm. uh, and he said to my wife oh you're gonna go through a very like hard time now your husband's gonna be really ill there's gonna be a lot of problems mm -hmm. but you need to be strong and obviously I went through like heart surgery, I was, went through a quite a rough yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. 
So obviously, you cannot they all think? Oh, right now it all makes sense. Um, one thing that we taught, we found out that we shouldn't have done. They give a picture of me, my dad, to him. Yeah, to the guy, and a family photo was all. Um, and we spoke to someone that said you should never do Absolutely that. Absolutely true, yes. And obviously, because we've been the illest people. Me and my dad have been the most ill. Yeah, because he's a magician. Yeah, a magician. They ask. I'll give you just brief of knowledge. Name, your mama's name, yeah. and your property. All right. Yeah, and the date of birth. So if they don't have anything of your property, then they use your date of birth and your mom's name. Now, what they've done, they've given you a picture. Yeah. And this is serious. Yeah. Since they've given you a picture, your situation becomes worse. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more, Bismillah. So, they give him the photo and stuff, and they, he asked for my grandma's name, I think it was my, my dad's mom's name, father's name, which uh, my cousin, he asked his mom for. Because mm. that's my mom, my dad's eldest sister, so mm. she she gives information, and he's given that information. He's like, keep me up, keep me updated what happens. So my wife, obviously, she's been telling him certain things that's been happening. All right, this has happened. Oh, my husband's getting more ill, etc., uh, etc. Et um, since then, that's when all these noises have been happening a lot worse. Uh, and when like, my sister can't sleep, she's scared to sleep. What happened is, Allah knows best. Yeah. Maybe you had problem before, and he mm. made it worse. Yeah, like he's prodded with it or something. Yeah, yeah, he made it worse by sending more jeans in the house. Yeah. Inshallah, what, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to read in every room, Inshallah, by the will of Allah, and then cleanse it. And then, inshallah, I'm going to show you how to do it yourself if it happens again, yeah. inshallah, by the will of Allah. Because this is very common. When the house is haunted, a lot of people, they look for help. They don't know where to run. Yeah. Uh, haunted houses are very bad to live in. Yeah. Particularly when you have no Islamic knowledge. You tend to suffer. Your yeah. situation deteriorate, get, become depressed. You don't know where to go and live. Particularly today in UK, it's very hard to go and find another property and live. Yeah. Yeah. So inshallah, by the will of Allah, whatever best I know, I will show you and then inshallah we can go forward. First of all is this. This is nice scent spray. Okay, is water. Why do I read on it? I read at al kursi and I read more ayat on it. And then what I do, I warn whatever's there. And then I read in every room again inshallah i have no chance to read surah al-baqarah kamila but i will read whatever is best inshallah and then hope by the will of allah everything will be okay in your house now i need to know one more thing do you have any ta'weez in the house i've never seen one. now that shaitan baba baba ji has he not given anything that you can hang in the door you can hang in the tree you can hang Apart from uh, these apart books. From, uh, from all I know, he's given these books. Some water, which we got rid of. All right, you've no. already got... Where, yeah. where did you get rid of the water? Where did you throw it? Or down, down there. Oh, the oh no, down. You need, something needs to be done. Because that water is magic. Right. Okay. Yeah, when did you split that water? Shoot, it's gone now. All right. <laughs> Oh, you jinns who came from Baba G, the Shaitan, Mal'oon Kafir. I'm commanding you by Allah to leave this property and to leave these... Family alone. The family, they are already suffering big time. So you leave them alone. Leave them alone. And stop scratching. And stop scratching. Stop scratching the house. Just, you have to be in that angle to see it. Can you see it? Yes. There. Yeah. 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 Can you see? Inshallah, we'll deal with it by the will of Allah. These scratches, magic. Magic of symbols. Understand? They do magic. The shaitan does magic. Whoever you went to is an enemy. He needs to be exposed. All right. This is where the, the bed got shaked. This and room. the laugh will be here. In this room, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you let me know. Okay. Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل كونوا حجارا أو حديد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا تجعل يدك مغلولة إلى عنقك ويضع عنهم سرام وغلالة ويضع عنهم سرام وغلالة ويضع عنهم سرام وغلالة Where was the other place? Uh, 
So she's in the shadow here at the door. All right, let's close. Okay. Let's close the door. You let me know. Don't, 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 don't keep quiet. Just come stand there. ويذعن أم سراء وغلالة ويذعن أم سراء وغلالة التي كانت عليهم ويذعن أم سراء وغلالة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويذعن أم سراء وغلالة التي كانت عليهم ولقد نعلم أنك يذيق صدرك أنك يذيق صدرك أنك يذيق صدرك بما يقولون